When students arrive, they're given a brief crash course on technology and programming while sitting in comfy beanbag chairs. Then it is off to the Think a Bit Lab, where they partner with Virginia Tech in the hands-on learning. They're actually building circuits that they design, and then they program them, and then we have them build automated devices. It could be a robot or it could be some robotic device. That's Jim Eggenreiter with Virginia Tech who first guides them to design the schematic and then build and program their own traffic lights with LEDs, sandwich boards, and resistors. Liana and Betty are Keen Mill Elementary students. We had some problems at first, but it uh, we had a little help, so it went pretty well. We just kept trying and it eventually worked. They then program motors, and are off to design and build their own prototypes in 35 minutes. Inhalers cause like pollution um, because as much as like a car driven with one mile um, and we're creating one that doesn't cause none or only a little bit of pollution. I shoot out a ball and you can like field it like baseball or you can also use it as like soccer. Some finish, others take the ideas home with them. Jessica Italian is a STEM specialist. Multiple times we'll get emails or like handwritten letters that say, you know, they're so thankful. Um, my, you know, I've been at Home Depot for the past few weekends just trying to finish this one idea that started at the lab. At Bucknell Elementary, Luke Luger, WTOP News.